Bowling, bowling, bowling. Yep, if the call is quick, the runs almost always on with the fielders on the 30 yard line. Rahul Sugandha taking two fours off Vikrant in the previous over. And uh, Sadat Mule will now look to also feast while the field restrictions are in place. You know, he can hit uh, the ball a long way, Mule. You mentioned those 250s. His strike rate also is pretty high in the one, late 120s. So just what the Veer Marathis need in order to keep that uh, original required run here of 8.75 from drifting into the double figures. Once you get to 10, 11 or more early in the innings, it can become almost impossible. Oh, brilliant. What a great pickup. One bounce, and another boundary for Mule. Looks to be the man in form. He'll have to take his chances. The field was up. Mid on and mid off were both up inside the 30 yard circle. So he had to just clear the infield. Went for it. Now, not the sweet sound of leather meeting wood, but still enough power in that shot to take it over the infield for four. They've got two fielders back at the fence. Now, there's a change in the field. The third man comes up and the long on goes back. Tom uh, Chikawawa moment, uh, the previous boundary for the Veer Marathis. Oh, what a ball, yeah, what a ball. Good reply, full of length. And uh, Mule could not get under it. Well, this is not bad for the Veer Marathis, I must say. When confronted with 175, it's just never easy. You don't know whether to go for it too quickly or whether to wait for the last 10 overs and keep your wickets in hand. But uh, they've done all right so far to keep uh, just about level with the required rate. Oh, thrashed and a one bounce four. So both Mule and Rahul Sugand can play the game. You saw the bottom hand come off. Sugant gets another boundary. That's the third that he struck. So he's raced to 14 of just six deliveries. Take another look at that. Bang! It was just the leading hand holding the bat. Again, realizing that you've just got to get it over the infield. There's more here. Has that gone the distance? Yes, it's six. Maximum for Al Sugant this time. Around long leg. Well, Vikrant must be wondering what he's run into, but it was short. And uh, the movement displayed by Rahul Sogan, quite professional, got inside the line. And then quite a lovely hook there. There we go. Gave it plenty of air, got the timing right, and it was a pretty decent six. 70 meters or so. Turning out to be a very good over for the Beer Marathis. Bowling, bowling, out Sensible stuff. Pats it back to Longa for a yes, single. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. 17 runs from yes. the Vakrant over. Four gone, 41 for two. Four gone, and they're scoring at over 10 and over at the moment are the Veer Marathis. Pretty handy stuff. Devari's bowled brilliantly. Two for 14 of his two. Oh. And he's cleaned up. Rahul Sugandhya. That was a beauty, and he played all over it, did Sugand. Ended up yorking himself. 21. That's what Sugand's contributed. But he's got to take the long walk back to the hut.
very keen to get to the other end. Here's the new man in. Randesh Pandey. Very clever opening delivery of this fifth over by Manoj Tiwari. Snuck between bat and pad. And it was the length that bothered Rahul Sogan. 21 from only 9 till then for Sogan. But isn't the Bhojpuri Dabang camp delighted with that wicket? The skipper picking up 3 for 14. And he's only in his third over. He's the third man. Well, you've heard of a one-man army. I think uh, Manoj Tiwari pretty much writing a... a Bhojpuri movie script for himself, 94 while batting and now three wickets for just 15 runs in 2.3 overs. I'm thinking how do we avoid giving him man of the match here? Is there anybody else who's going to put his hand up? Why avoid? He's done everything possible, Charu, come on. Well, you know, you know what I mean, that he, his case is just so rock solid. Signed, sealed and shut. Oh, brilliant. Swung away, and that just, I think, crosses the boundary line. Directly, it is a six. Well done. So, Sadant Mool is not giving up yet. 228 is strike rate. Well, that was uh, cleanly struck by Sadant Mule. Just opened up for that uh, delivery that swung into him. Pretty much went square on and allowed himself the opportunity to free his arms. At that pace, you're not really exposing yourself to a lot of risk by, by opening up your stance. It still takes a lot to pull. It's not easy to play the horizontal bat shots. But, uh, luckily, the bounce was pretty even on that delivery. So, well played, Siddhant Mule. Once again, behind the keeper, didn't quite catch it well, or did he? Another big six! I thought he hadn't caught it well enough. Consecutive sixes for Siddhant Mule, putting the captain to sword. Anything better would have just been in the stands. I think that was very cleanly connected by Siddhant Mule. He has a bomb check of our moment there. Tiwari pitching it uh, just a tad short. And once again, he opens his stance up and uh, gives it a heave ho. This time, straight down towards the side screen. Did I see Manoj Tiwari actually applaud that shot in the corner of my eye? He should have. Quite brilliant. The wicket to begin with, now consecutive sixes. And the third, three sixes in a row. This one, the biggest and the best way into the stands. Brilliant by Mule. Five overs gone, 60 for three.